Hi, are you an engineer, an engineering student, or thinking about entering engineering, or maybe just have always had an interest in engineering? Well, this is a channel for you. Wait, if you're not an engineering student, not an engineer, you have no idea what engineering is, and you're thinking, and all I know is engineering is hard, go check out this video first. Just pause here, check that out, and maybe you'll come back and want to keep watching and follow along. Okay, yes, engineering is hard, but that's just not what is engineering. Engineering is hard. There's a lot more to it. And yes, I know you'll face a lot of challenges if you're an engineering student or thinking about going into engineering, and that's why this channel is here. I want to help support you. So I'm going to cover a lot of different concepts and bring a different angle on them to hopefully help you understand them better. And also I'll present a lot of different facts and information about people in STEM, places, different things like that. So in this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and this channel. So hi, I am Kelsey, Dr. Kelsey Joy, that's me. And in this channel, I'm going to be posting a bunch of different engineering content. So I've taught a lot of first year engineering and helped out with first year engineering programs. So a lot of this content will first be geared towards helping students who are entering engineering or just getting started in engineering, or maybe you want some resources of things that you learned early on that you don't quite remember. So please subscribe and follow along and please join the community and let me help you. So first I wanna tell you a little story about my own journey. Also, be sure to stay to the end because I have a little Easter egg throughout and maybe you can catch what's happening and maybe you already know, but pay attention. Growing up, I had two engineers in my family that were very influential in my career decisions. Throughout high school, I always loved math and science. When it came to deciding my degree, I chose engineering. I didn't really know much about engineering, even though I had more opportunities than many to learn about it. I was fortunate the engineering program I was admitted to at ASU allowed me to explore civil, mechanical, and electrical engineering pathways before having to select the type of engineer I wanted to be. I decided I wanted to be a mechanical engineer because it opened the door for so many other pathways. During my undergraduate engineering education, I tried to stay very involved. I worked as a career pair at Career Services, held an internship at a materials engineering company, and conducted engineering education research with one of my professors. I also helped start a women in science and engineering group on our campus. As I approached graduation, I faced the challenging question of going into industry or academia. I decided to go to graduate school at Purdue University. After five years as a graduate student, I received my PhD. I then went on to Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University where I became a professor in the engineering fundamentals department. I'll share more about my journey and story on this channel occasionally, but my main focus will be engineering concepts and various different content. All right, so the little Easter egg I told you about, if you were paying attention, you, maybe you already noticed that I was changing throughout the whole video. So one part of being an engineer is finding your own engineering identity. For me, I wasn't quite sure how I felt and how I fit in with engineering. I felt different. I felt like people didn't see me as an engineer because I didn't look like an engineer, whatever that was supposed to mean. I am an engineer, so I am what an engineer looks like, just to establish that. Just one of the many. So I went through a whole identity crisis when I started going into engineering and all of a sudden people are looking at me and they're like, well, you don't look smart and you don't look like an engineer. You don't look like you would know math. You don't look like you would belong here. And even to the point of at orientation, um, they kind of asked me to leave because they thought I was in the wrong place. Thankfully, my mom, who was there and also another strong woman, spoke up real fast and was like, we belong here. My daughter is going to be an engineer. <laughs> and uh, so I stayed. And I continued to stay, but I also continued to explore different things, such as putting my hair up, starting to wear glasses. I found glasses really increased my IQ for a little while, um, but it didn't make me comfortable because I wasn't being true to myself, to my own identity. And so eventually I started coming to terms with the fact that maybe I don't look like the traditional engineer that people are expecting to see, but if I don't voice my own opinions and be myself, am I just helping this whole image of what an engineer is stay the same. I don't wanna be like that. I wanna be able to be myself and I wanna be able to help people understand that you don't have to look a certain way and act a certain way and be a certain way to be an engineer because we need engineers from all different backgrounds, all different experiences, all different ethnicities, all different races, all different viewpoints, all different religions, like the whole thing. We need a bunch of different engineers to help us create society. Because if we have all of our society created and designed around one person's point of view, well, then we get all these errors like we've already had all over. I'm sure you've read about some, and so here's some to go along with that. And you can check those out further if you don't believe me. But we need more diversity in engineering. And sometimes that can be hard to just be yourself 
And it's especially hard when you're young and you don't even know who you are. And it's easy to just conform to what's around you. So here I am telling you, find yourself, be yourself and make your own engineering identity. And tell me all about it if you've already done that or if you're right in that point in your life. I would love to hear about your own journey and your experiences. So thanks for staying. Thanks for watching. And I hope that you join and please subscribe because I would love to see you around more. And be sure to comment a lot. I love comments and I love responding to them all. And even if it's just, oh my goodness, I'm struggling on this homework assignment and I have no idea what to do or my life is falling apart. I failed a class and I don't know what to do. That kind of stuff I love. So I'm happy to be here for you and happy to respond. And I will post something about failing later because failing a class does not mean that you're done. <laughs> I can tell you from my own experience. All right, see you soon. Bye.